guys, as you can see, progress is happening in this D6 integral. This is going to be a very large tanto and the suba is all going to be integral. So it's all one piece, the hollow handle is all going to be narrow and the suba, the guard, is all going to be integral. So, you know, this is just some of the swarf. So, you know, I've got a long, long way to go. Good stuff, this. Okay, catch you on later. Okay, guys, this is the final cut I'm doing before I start to knurl the handle. I'm literally taking a very small amount of material off. section is pretty much finished these areas are completely finished right here those were quite difficult to finish on this particular steel it's very difficult to work with d6 sometimes so you know uh, I've now knurled the handle as you can see came out pretty nice I've put a couple of recesses right here and right there and that just finishes the whole thing off that's that's now finished the handle section is now finished so now the difficult section starts which is this section okay I would say around about 80% of this section now has to be machined off this is the blade section oh man I am not looking forward to this but this is good stuff you know I'm looking forward to finishing this so this has to be one of the most difficult projects I've done just look at the size of this bar it's insane so you know hey I started the project I'm going to make an end so I'm looking forward to finishing this
this how far we got to the bar. I almost have a bucket full of water. So it's going to be quite some time before this project is finished. So what's happening is now I've finished the handle section almost. I've got to work on the inside section. So now we're working on the curvature on the front of the Suba. A very similar curvature to this kind of. So anyway, a, a long way to go. Okay, what's happening is what I'm trying to do is just finish this curvature here the same way I've finished this curvature. So uh, I have ground this special tool and slowly we're getting there. I just want to turn that nice curvature, finish it from here to over here and then I'll go on the milling machine and I'll show you the next stage. Okay guys, hang in there and I will try to make an end of this project as quick as I can. Bye. Now that you see I have finished this section. Uh, the curvature is a really nice curvature as you can see and that's what I wanted to achieve so the cross section looks a little like this so uh, both sides of the Suba looks really nice now it's got a fairly good finish and now what I'm going to do before I take this steel out of the lathe is I'm going to contour the super all the way around. So catch you all later. happening is I have now just finished this section as you can see it's now contoured slightly and I've been rubbing it down with some emery cloth some sandpaper and I actually went ahead and finished all these facets all the way up to there and the other thing I did is I lightly polished the inside of these two grooves, this one and that one, and then went ahead and finished this section as well further. So as you can see, that looks really nice. So on to the next stage. I've moved over to the milling machine so I just wanted to show you guys what this thing looks like so far so this is just to give you some sort of idea uh, my battery is going low uh, this is just to show you guys an idea of what this thing is going to look like so this is the handle all knurled 
and that's the Suba it's all finished I actually finished this face with uh, CBN cubic boron nitride so it looks really nice so catch you all later so what's happening now is I'm just tramming uh, my milling head and just making sure that it's accurate before I do any machining whatsoever so the tramming is this is a fantastic tool this is so what it is is you tram the machine on the X and the Y axis to make sure that whatever tool that goes in there uh, is exactly 90 degrees in relations to this table so you know that your holes are not out of alignment you are at 90 degrees in relation to the table so anyway that's that's what this tool does okay
are now removing some serious amount of material. You don't want to put your finger in there. Okay, this is how far we got so far. I just want to show you guys how much material we have removed so far. And that, all this, what you see here, is literally just 12 millimeters of material. Okay? I'm actually removing 30 millimeters. I'll recalculate everything, 30 or 31. I'm gonna remove 30 millimeters and see how I feel about the thickness of the blade. This is as far as I got in the time that I spent on it today. So as you all can see, there's a long way to go. Uh, today was a bad day. I had all kinds of vibration issues with the machine. Obviously I was trying to take too big a cut and I was trying to get things done very quickly. Anyway, uh, the tool has done very well, solid carbide, and it hasn't let me down yet, so there's plenty of life in it. So I'm going to, uh, well, I've, what I've done is I've, I've cleaned the machine down and oiled it, and that's just some of the swarf. So catch you all tomorrow. Bye. You guys can see I'm working on the other side. It's a long way to go. God damn, God damn, we have a problem, <laughs> oh well, one expensive tool, just shattered, it just became more and more blunt, this was a brand new tool, anyway, it was a 8 flute carbide cutter and well you know that says a lot about D6 tool steel that's what it is you know it's good stuff but it just wears out your tools and breaks them anyway I have another one As you guys can see, I'm working on the other side. This is just like 50% of the blade, you know. There's a long way to go.
Okay, this is how far we got so far. Man, this has turned out to be one hell of a difficult project. All kinds of things is happening. Broken cutters, everything. What can I say? Uh, I'm taking a wild guess when I say this will take 14 days, possibly 12 days in total to complete, basically. Uh, this bar of steel, D6 tool steel, started as 28.68 pound in weight. So that's what it was. So I don't know what it's going to be by the time it's finished. Anyway, uh, keep watching. Okay, I took this and precision ground it on both sides so I can put it in my vise and clamp it uh, very tightly so that just gives me a, a, a tiny bit more precision so it's a very powerful vise, it's a Girardi vise made in Italy, it's, it's really high quality I just want to make sure that it's gripping my steel exceptionally well Anyway, it's, it's, uh, it's on to the next stage, which is this side, and uh, I'm looking forward to finishing this. I'm done for the day today. Thank you all. Bye. That's the second 20 millimeter carbide cutter, completely damaged. I told you, D6 is good stuff, but it's just tough to machine. That's D6 for you. As you can see, I'm now working on the other side of the knife, so catch you all later. I hope you're enjoying the movies. Bye.
say I've now removed all the material from both sides. All I've got to do now is just clean this shoulder on both sides. Catch you all later. As you can see, I've got it to this stage. So it's starting to look like what I want it to look like. So stay tuned and I'll work on it some more. I'm beginning to really like the way this integral is turning out. To construct this, it's, well, what can I say? I first thought it's going to take 12 days. Then I re-evaluated then I thought it's going to take 14 days and now I'm thinking it's going to take 18 days you know what it comes down to guys is uh, as wonderful as my milling machine is and it's literally state of the art it's I won't go into details right now but it's got a power tool changer it's got what can I say it's it's state of the art DRO digital readout it's got Heidenhain probe here and th this is Heidenhain as well you know it's and you know what it is is I have also heat treated table which I requested from the manufacturer and I also requested that the table be surface ground and I also have power feed on X Y and Z axis but one of the most important features of this machine is on the X and Y axis I don't know whether you guys can see but it's fitted with CNC style C3 rated precision ground bolt screws so what this means is if I can just put this down for a second what that means is when you're operating the machine it's got zero backlash it's got literally no backlash it's zero I'm trying to move it right now look at that it's zero so that's that's the good thing about or I mean literally I had to order this machine it took 10 11 months to be built at the factory and I just love this machine to bits but the problem here is I'm facing when you're trying to construct something like this to make something like this you actually need a much much bigger machine than this otherwise it, it it's not that it cannot do it it can do it I've demonstrated that it can it's just going to take a long time to construct something like this completely custom built hand made uh, on a machine of this size otherwise you know it's it should it should not take this long, but it does. It, it can take this long. Well, what can I say? It's just not man enough, not quite. But you know, uh, but this was built for me at the factory and I love this machine to bits. So uh, what can I say? To get back to the knife, well, I've got it this far and it's all threaded. It's all knurled. Uh, the Suba section. I just love the way the Suba has turned out. So what I'm going to do is surface grind on both sides of the blade. 
so it's really nice finish I'm going to work on uh, the shoulder on the blade side and make it look really nice and then start to grind the blade so this is going to be a large tanto so just look at the thickness of the blade it's insane so I'm looking forward to finishing this although I feel like my hair is going gray trying to finish it so anyway uh, I hope you all are enjoying the videos I'm posting on Instagram so what I am planning on doing is I'm going to uh, put a very lengthy uh, movie together and uh, which which shows the entire construction of this knife uh, and put it on YouTube I don't know how many of you know but this this integral knife started life around just under 72 millimeters in diameter and this weighed 28.68 pounds in weight so you know it's it's insane this was an insane idea to turn a 28.68 pound lump of d6 tool steel into well the only way i can explain it is the most insane integral i have ever built so anyway some lucky person out there will soon own this in their collection and I am looking forward to finishing this. Anyway, catch you all later. Bye. Okay, so this is the final cut which I'm making to clean up that area just ahead of the Suba. This is a finishing cut, so I'm going extremely slow and it looks like the whole thing is coming together very soon. So the next stage is to just clean up the blade area a little bit on the flat sections and then start profiling the tanto blade shape and then finally hand grind it okay catch you all later
Okay, so this is how far we got with this project. L little to say that it's been a nightmare to get this far, but it's very gratifying to take a piece of D6 tool steel and it weighed 28.68 pound and literally sculpt the whole thing from one piece of D6. It's, it's just been incredibly gratifying to, to build this knife so far. But it's taken, I think, 16 days to get it this far. So anyway, the next stage is to scribe the lines, the center lines on the blade and go ahead and hand grind it and uh, try to make an end of this incredibly challenging project. Anyway, it will be up for sale in the next few days, I'm sure. Take care all, bye. Okay guys, I thought I'd make this quick video of uh, this full integral hollow handle uh, Tanto. So, uh, so far it's taken 29 to 30 days to get it this far. It started life as 28.8 pound of uh, D6 tool steel. As you can see, the suba, the handle, all hollow handle, threaded. It's uh, it's all one piece integral. It's just an insane project, which I started a uh, long time ago, a couple of years ago. I think I started this. So it's now coming to uh, the end, and I ground it today. So I'm really looking forward to finishing this 
this will be one of those pieces that I would just find incredibly difficult to sell because my heart and soul has gone into it. Uh, so anyway, uh, it is what it is. Uh, uh, it will be put up for sale and uh, I look forward to finishing it. Bye.